this is part 7 of Razor Pages tutorial. In this video, we'll implement the Razor code to display the list of employees. We want the list Razor page to look like this. Let's quickly review what we have done so far. The index page model class retrieves the list of employees and stores them in this public property employees. The index display template has access to that property. And if we take a look at mock employer repository class, at the moment we've got four employees. And that's the count that we see right here on the index page. Instead of displaying the count, we want to display the list of employees as you can see right here. So on the top, we want the employee name, their photo, and then these three buttons, view, edit, and delete. So the first thing that we need is the photos for these employees. So behind the scenes, what I have done is in the images folder inside www root, I have included the four photos for these four employees. And if you look at these employees here, the first three employees have got the photo path property set. So Mary photo is mary.png. For John, it is john.png, so on and so forth. But if you take a look at this last employee, David, we did not explicitly set the photo path property. So photo path for this employee is null. So if photo path is null, then for all those employees, we want to display this photo, no image.jpg. In the display template, that is in index.cshtml, we don't want to display the employee count anymore. We're going to use bootstrap for card deck to style the display like this. And to get the card deck, we use a div element and then specify the bootstrap class card deck. And then we want to loop through each employee that we have in the employees property of our page model class. So for that, let's use a for each loop. Let's call the variable employee in model dot employees. Inside the loop, the first thing that we want to do is compute the photo path. For that, let's create a variable called photo path. Employee photos are in the images folder and this folder is in turn present in www root. So to get to the root folder, let's use tilde. From there, we want to get to images folder and to this path, we want to append the employee photo path. So let's use the employee loop variable and on that, we have photo path. And if for a given employee, we do not have this photo path property set, that means he does not have a photo. And for all those employees, we want to display no image.jpg. Next, we want a bootstrap card to display each employee details. So we are using a div element with the bootstrap class card. And within a card, we want three sections. In the header, we want to display the employee name. In the body, the employee photo. And in the footer, these three buttons, view, edit, and delete. Here is the HTML required for that. In the card header, we are displaying the employee name. In the body, we are using the image element to display the employee photo. We have set the image source attribute to the photo path variable that we are computing right here. We have misspelled the variable name, so let's fix that. And on the image element, we are also using the image tag helper ASP append version. We discussed the use of this tag helper in detail in part 37 of our ASP.NET Core beginners course. And then finally, in the card footer, we are displaying those three buttons, view, edit, and delete. At the moment, these buttons does not work. We'll implement the functionality of these buttons in our upcoming videos in this series. And notice, on this image element, we're also using a custom CSS class image thumbnail. I've already included this class in site.css. And all this class does is sets the image height to 200 pixels and width to auto. So let's save all these changes and then reload our index page. There we go. We see the four employees displayed as expected. For this last employee, David, we did not explicitly set the photo path property. So we see no image.jpg. At the moment, these three buttons have varying widths. We want to fix it to 75 pixels. And to style these buttons, we're using the bootstrap class btn. We're going to override the width of this class to 75 pixels. And let's do that using an inline style on this page 
right here. Save our changes and then reload the web page by pressing Ctrl Shift R. There we go. Here is the index page model class and here is the display template. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.